So the first thing to ask is, can you please just tell us again, in your own words, your, um, your gorgeous love story and why you guys should win this competition? Yeah, so it was a bit of a, it, it was a really bleak, sad time for me really, because I, I was married previously and my wife died, and obviously um, we got a little boy and he was, he was just three, so things weren't looking great and I'd got a nearly a couple of years down the line and thought, you know, I need to kind of start to get life back on track and my niece was staying with me at the time and she's like, Em, you need to do something, you can't. You know, I was young, I was only over 30s. She said, which is, yeah, yeah. And she said, you need to um, you need to do something. So I was really, you know, being a gay young woman and in Kent, there's not really many places to meet anyone. You know, I, I was, yeah, I hadn't dated for a long time, really nervous. So I um, signed up to online dating and wasn't kind of expecting much. I had a couple of... People contact me, I was thinking, oh no, like, you know, and then Carly winked at me, and yeah. I was like, wow, she's quite beautiful, and thought this, you know, there's got to be more to it, can't, you know, my luck can't be that good, and we started talking, and after a while we decided to meet, but Carly lived in Devon, which is about a five hour drive from where I live. Really long way. So um, we decided to be halfway, didn't we? Yeah. And then we just straight away we just just clicked, didn't we? Yeah, definitely. It was like we always knew each other. Yeah, I never had a, a moment of silence where it was awkward. Um, and obviously, it's a lot for someone to take on. You know, I was a widow, a little boy. You know, it's a lot to take on, and you kind of think that you know that. You can't be that lucky, but I feel like I need to touch wood. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, it's all a bit, I don't know. And like I said in my little email that I sent, it's, it is like my happily ever after because it's like a little fairy tale. It's like it's a, a bad love story, if that makes sense, because it starts off tragic but actually ends lovely. It's like and every Christmas romantic film you've ever yeah, watched. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's, it's almost like, like I'm pinching myself for yeah. something not to be as it is. But yeah, yeah my, you know, little boy, little man, he, he calls you mama, and we've got a little family, we've got a baby on the way. Um, All I've ever wanted is a family. So for me, when I met Em, it was really, really daunting because it was like everything I'd ever wanted. But obviously, it's quite. Um, yeah, it's quite scary, but our little one is amazing, and it just means a lot to us that when our next one joins us early next year, that we are this complete entire family unit. It just means absolutely everything to us, and for him as well, because obviously for him, he's had a really difficult start, but he deals with everything so well, oh, and like, we're all really resilient, aren't we? Yeah, and, and kids are, are really resilient. I mean, they you know they come out with most amazing things, but for us to have such a lovely little family, you know, we've got a dog that smiles. We've got a dog that smiles. <laughs> um, but it's for me, and we were talking about this, it's about that things can be really, really dark and sad, and yeah. you can have, like, no hope, and... It's about actually, you know, things could be really great and it's about, you know, putting yourself out there. And We've got a friend who's recently just met someone who's also a really young widow and she comes to talk to us about it. And part of entering this competition was being this really positive role model for people that experience such an unusual thing at such yeah. a young age. Um, because normally if you say widow, you think of someone in their like 70s or 80s, yeah. you don't think of someone in their 30s or 40s. And the the chance of being this like really positive role model, especially in the LGBT community, because sometimes it can be quite a closed network and you don't know where to turn or who to talk to about things like that. That for us to then be featured in a magazine such as yours, because it's such an influential magazine, it is that really sort of like you know what, actually, this has happened, that's happened, it's quite a normal thing to, you know, be a widow at some point, however sad it is, um, but look how happy people can still be. Mm, absolutely. <laughs> well, guys, we've been so moved, all of us in the office, and I know all our readers as well have been so touched by your story. It's just absolutely beautiful and full of hope and so inspiring. 
Um, so the next thing that we want to talk to you about is to, um, to let you guys know that you are in fact the winners of the competition. <laughs> Gorgeous, gorgeous family you've got. 